Building a Sustainable Future. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 414. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together the people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I want to talk about is building a sustainable future and the steps that are required to creating a sustainable future because a sustainable future will benefit all of us. It will benefit every person on this shared planet and every single living thing on this shared planet. And so one community is dedicated to that. We're dedicated to creating a world that works for everyone, a world that benefits everyone within our lifetime, within one generation to establish a sustainable civilization, to build a sustainable future that we can all enjoy for ourselves, for our children, our grandchildren, and our great, 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 great grandchildren to create that sustainable foundation, that new paradigm of sustainable living that will become the new norm. And so the steps to do that, step one, we feel, is to design a replicable way of living that is sustainable. You know, and step two is to demonstrate it is better than the way that most people are living right now. And so to achieve that, we're creating all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for that. And to demonstrate it is better than the way that most people are living right now, we're taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. Everybody knows those. And we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all those things together as an evolution of sustainability to demonstrate a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And then step three is open sourcing and free sharing all of that so that anybody who wants to can have access and can participate in. And so that's what we're doing. We're open sourcing and free sharing the tools, the tutorials, resources, the do-it-yourself instructions for each one of those components so that they can be replicated as either individual components for people that just may want to build a sustainable home or uh, add sustainable infra energy infrastructure or grow a garden or maybe do a home education program or a community-based education program for people that want to implement individual components we're designing it so that each component can be modularly implemented, but we're also designing it so that we can put the whole thing together and demonstrate as a teacher demonstration hub designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well so that other people can participate in the process of open sourcing and free sharing and evolving everything that we're doing, and we can create a global cooperative and a global collaborative, which is step number four so that we can repeat that process until we reach the necessary tipping point of achieving a sustainable future. So that we can say that, hey, we've achieved year one of a sustainable future. Like globally, we are sustainable at this point. Globally, our civilization is sustainable and now it's just a process of improving upon that, becoming more sustainable, becoming more efficient, creating an even better life for everybody, bringing more and more people into the fold so that more and more people can enjoy the benefits of this and so that we have more and more options for people all over the world to apply sustainability in whatever way works best for them either as the complete teacher demonstration hub, joining the global collaborative and cooperative working towards a sustainable future for everyone, or just saying, oh, this little individual component works for me, and that's all I want to do. Great, that's a step in the right direction. And so we think that building a sustainable future is going to be a process of billions of people doing small little actions. And millions of people, hundreds of millions of people doing medium actions and just a few hundred thousand people taking radical actions initially to create this and demonstrate this new way of living that's better than the way that most people are living right now. And then before you know it, more and more people will get involved because they'll realize like, wait a minute, 
I'd rather have more time. I'd rather have more things to do with that time. I'd rather live this more enjoyable lifestyle surrounded by the people I love and care about the most and no longer having to work a traditional job and no longer having to commute to work and being able to be involved in my children's education and to have my kids around all the time and to have everything that I'm most interested in doing within walking distance, to eat food that is clean and not sprayed with poisons, you know, to breathe air and drink water that is clean and not poisoned, you know, to be able to live in an environment, a home that is not built with toxic materials that I know is not just carbon neutral, but carbon negative to be doing things that benefit not only me and my family and my friends, but also the entire planet to be a part of something amazing that also provides something amazing for me as an individual. Selfish philanthropy, selfish humanitarianism, selfish sustainable future creation, because it's building a paradigm that's better. It's not fighting the existing paradigm. As Buckminster Fuller says, don't fight the existing paradigm. Instead, create a better, newer paradigm and invite people to participate in that. Radically paraphrasing on that. So, but that is the idea, to create a new paradigm that's better and to demonstrate that. A more fulfilling, more enriching, more fun way of living that also provides all those benefits of sustainability, eliminates bills, reduces the cost of living, provides more free time, all of that in one place as a teacher demonstration hub and inviting anybody who wants to, to replicate that and providing specifically the tools, the tutorials, and the do-it-yourself replication resources so that we can forward this movement globally and work with a global cooperative and collaborative to create everything that you see in this video and so much more than that. So that's what we're up to. If you'd like more specifics, more details, um, links, and all the specifics of everything that our team has accomplished within the last week, and we're a 100% volunteer organization, including myself, uh, over 500 volunteers have contributed to our nonprofit, non-governmental organization to this point over the last decade to create everything that you see. Visit our written blog and you can see what our team has accomplished within the last week. If you'd like to uh, receive a weekly progress update, subscribe from our through our website or uh, like this video and ring that bell and you can get our weekly updates in your email via, via YouTube. And uh, if you'd like to see more specifics, on everything that we're creating, the different various components. Stick around for a couple more minutes, watch the last couple of minutes of this video, and uh, you'll get a little rundown of each one of the major components that we're developing and the specifics of what they're meant to provide. And with that said, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.